This week's player tip, speed. Because when a lot of stuff happens in a short amount of time, you either gotta get on the train or get the hell out of the way. So this week, a lot happened and not a lot of time. I mean, I'm still trying to figure out stuff for the uh, solo show, and I need to find a technician for that show, which is coming a challenge for some reason, but I had a lot I had to do and not a lot of time. One of those things is, uh, for the last couple of weeks, I've been helping the launch of No Shame New York. No Shame Theater is a uh, oh, kind of an open mic for playwrights and the rules and whatnot that I'd share another time probably, but I've uh, been helping help establish No Shame Theater New York at 13th Street Repertory, and Past couple of weeks, we've only had like a group of friends show up and it's been small, so we're trying to expand our numbers. So we did something kind of inventive and a little crazy this week. All right, so where are we heading out to? We are heading out to Washington Square Park because we're gonna go do No Shame because we're taking it to the people. Yay. Yeah, we went out to Washington Square Park and decided to do No Shame Outdoors. Now, I know No Shame has been done outdoors. I mean, the first No Shames were done in the back of a truck. So, you know, doing it outside just kind of works. Plus, doing it in Washington Square Park was doing it amongst a lot of people. And we got some people interested. Some people took flyers and they said, oh, this sounds kind of cool. I'll show up next week. We'll see if that happens next week. And it was just exciting to kind of do it outdoors. Now, one of the things I did while out there was a segment for my solo show, kind of to prove to myself that it is entertaining, it is funny, and that, well, that I had that part memorized. I have a lot to memorize for that thing. So something else that I did this week was a colleague of mine, Wendy Marie Furster, uh, is doing what she, she's calling the 24-hour Red Eye Play Festival. I think I got that in order. and. It basically, it's going to be six players from across the nation that are in the program who write a play based on prompts and then send it to a theater in Eastern Theater and Central Theater and Mount End Theater in Pacific Time Zone. And basically all these six plays will be uh, rehearsed, directed, etc. and presented in a 24-hour span across the nation, which is kind of cool. So this week, we the playwrights had to basically apply and whoever... I think whoever had the best 10 minute script based on the prompts given um, is going to be accepted and be part of this thing. So Friday night, two minutes, two minutes till prompt and go time. It was exciting because I was really excited to get something new written. I've been working on this full length play for the last couple of weeks and to just do something outside of that to get my mind off of that for like even a night was great. Now the playwrights usually have about 12 hours to get the play written and uh... Done. 9.15. New record. Usually the playwrights get 12 hours to get the play written. I got done in about an hour and 15 minutes. I'm a fast playwright. If it's a detriment, so be it. One of the other things I did this week, kind of on a whim, now I've been job searching forever, so there's this theater company that I've heard pays, maybe, I don't know, uh, that was doing a production of King and I out on Staten Island, so I went out and auditioned for that. So I am out here at a Snug Harbor on Staten Island, and I'm going to an audition. I haven't done an audition in over a year, I think. Yeah, it's for the King and I. Don't make fun. I don't really expect anything to come of that. I mean, I went in, I sang, they said, you have a great voice, but then they didn't have me read the sides for the parts that were available, and they tried had me try out for the dancing ensemble, which... Didn't really work out in dress pants and dress shoes. Was not prepared for a dance call. Mm, that was not my expectation. After that, I had to speed out to Queens, where uh, Cage Theater Company had done me the favor and gathered their members and their friends to do a reading of my new play called The Call of the Siren. The Call of the Siren is about a superhero who is a vigilante hero by night and a struggling dancer by day. It's great hearing your stuff out loud and getting people together right when you finish it just to get feedback and to hear how, how stuff works. I mean, as we're going along, I'm cutting lines, I'm making fixes, and I'm catching all the little problems as they're reading it. You know, if I read it to myself out loud, I'm not getting the full experience an audience member would because I'm thinking a page ahead of what's coming up and what had just happened. And when someone's reading it and I'm just listening or reading along and listening, I'm in the moment. And it helps. It helps any player to be in the moment, especially when things happen really, really fast. I got some great notes, and I had some great actors reading it, and uh, we'll see what happens with this piece. It's a play with dance and music, so a lot of experimenting needed for that piece. Oh yeah, in other news, um, my sketch group, uh, Stuff, 
stuff film, stuff comedy, I don't know what we're called anymore. But my sketch group got accepted into a sketch festival uh, that's going up in October. So this volume is going to be a little longer than I thought, which is actually kind of cool. And it just shows that more art stuff is coming up and more exciting things keep happening. Just none of this pays. Well, if I was paid based on how fast I went, I would be a millionaire. I'm just saying. Is there, is there like a prize competition for how many words you can fit in a sentence? I mean, I'm sure there's a Guinness Book of World Records because I can talk really fast. If I really want to talk really fast, I can do that. Bingle, bungle, dingle, dangle. You could do, you get a day. If you get that reference, kudos to you. So, um, lots happened this week. Lots more is gonna happen next coming weeks. Um, solo show coming up end of September. Have to start working on that. Yay. Thank you. I will see you next week. Interwebs.